Uh, good afternoon. Um, we're back. We're back um, showcasing our Black Historic um, Black History Month exhibition here at the, the I Love This Space, the Homewood Library. So if you're in the neighborhood, you're close by, driving by, please um, stop by. We'll be here until about mm, roughly 7.30, 8 o'clock. Um, I'm going to give you a glimpse of our exhibitions. Um, for those who haven't seen them, um, it's very informative. We have free literature. Um, so please, if you're in a neighborhood, please stop by and check out our um, historic Black History Exhibition during the month of February. This is the last day, so um, if you're in a neighborhood, please stop by. So I'm going to give you a little glimpse. Yeah, I love this space. It's nice and wide and open. Uh, got enough room. A lot of people requested for us to come back because um, uh, they didn't get a chance to really, really absorb all the information here. So um, we try to do uh, at least once or twice the libraries. They really show the most interest. Um, and this is one of the libraries here. Uh, I love Homewood Library. There's a lot of people come here. Um, and uh, so, looking forward to another good day. Like I said, we'll be here until probably about 7.30. Uh, if you're in the neighborhood, or if, uh, please stop by and check us out. Uh, you, we have got a lot of rave reviews about our exhibition. Um, they didn't know, some of us, um, well, some people didn't know that we went back as far as 1920 um, with this man right here. He was one of our first missionaries here, and uh, he was an awesome, awesome man. We all will be pleased with him. Uh, and then these are a list of all of our converts back in those days. Oh, man. I don't know where these people are now, but uh, uh, we need to probably see and reach out to the families of these people. There's a lot of names here. Um, Uh, this is a message that uh, Mufti Muhammad Sadiq, may I'll be pleased with them, um, pretty much uh, wrote to the American Negro at that time. He said, Assalamu alaikum, peace be with you in the mercy of Allah. The Christian profiteers brought you out of the native lands of Africa and in Christianizing you, made you forget the religion and language of your forefathers, which were Arabic and Islam. You have experienced Christianity for so many years and it has proved to be no good. It is a failure. Christianity cannot bring real brotherhood to the nations. So now leave it alone and join Islam, the real faith of universal brotherhood. We have opened a school of Islam in Arabic language. Join Islam in the Ahmadiyya movement founded by Ahmad, peace be upon him, of India, the prophet of the day, and be blessed. And this is a bold statement he made back in 1920. A very bold statement. So, at that time, we did have a race problem. In fact, we still do have a race problem even today. These are some of our early converts. Uh, uh, this was uh, a young lady, Sister Aisha. She's a, uh, a Caucasian lady.
And our, of course, these are the Ahmadis that are jazz artists. Um, this is a few of them. Um, everybody knows this man. He just got a, he got a Grammy just recently, a lifetime Grammy. Ahmad Jamal, he's still with us. Uh, this is also a phenomenal musician who is no longer with us. May Allah be pleased with him, Yusuf Latif. Many people know uh, Dakota Station. Uh, and of course, the, the great Art Blakely. And uh, also Kenny, Kenny Clark. This is a nice piece about uh, the biography of John Coltrane. He talked about our movement and he was influenced by it. In fact, the Love Supreme is, a, is one of his titles that he devoted to Allah. He wrote about Allah, which means God in Arabic. This is another one of our missionaries. Um, he even came to Pittsburgh, who was phenomenal. Here's some of the cities. Let me just keep it this way. Uh, Cleveland, Ohio, St. Louis, uh, many of the major cities uh, we had um, chapters or communities, um, um, Chicago of course, Dayton, Ohio, I uh, forgot the Dayton, Ohio mosque here. Uh, in fact, this is one of our early Jalsas or conventions that was in Dayton, Ohio. And this was the moss at the time, the date moss, which is still there. I think they added to it. Here's a, my fa ex, not ex, this is my father-in-law. I married his daughter early, early in the, 80s, it didn't work out though, but. Uh, of course, we were in Washington, D.C. as well. In fact, that's where our first mosque was, not the first mosque, but we had a mosque there. They go Chicago, members of our Chicago mosque back in the 50s. Some of my members um, at the time uh, visited Kadi on India. Uh, this is a sister giving the Holy Quran to the president at that time. Um, I'm sorry, that was, uh, oh yeah, that was President Gerald Ford. Gave him a holy Quran back in 1974. And here's my family, which I did before. Uh, we had a, a mosque, and we still have a mosque up there on Webster Avenue. My grandparents and my aunts and cousins are in here. I don't know where we were at the time, but uh, look how well dressed we were back in those days. Uh, all the guys had suits and ties, the ladies were very well, well dressed. Um, um, I think that's overall back in those days. This is an awesome picture of Dayton, Ohio. Again, check out the dress of the brothers. And then we have 
Our young men, those under 40, were called Kudam Amadia. Uh, these were the early, back in the 60s and 70s, of our young brothers. They were exercising here. <laughs> It is the name Kudam Ahmadiyya, the men's branch of the Ahmadiyya movement in Islam. And here's a little blurb. Here and I'm gonna here it mentions um, something about uh, Malcolm X and Dr. Martha Luther King, which is uh, really interesting. Um, I talked to him at the tumultuous 1960s and talked about Elijah Muhammad here as well. So. Okay, one more than this is the uh, the first banner to our introduction to our exhibit. So I don't know if I showed you this at all. Um, and then below is the founder of our organization, Hazrat Mirza Gula Mamet Bukharian who we believe to be the promised Messiah and Mahdi. <laughs> so, okay, uh, thank you for watching. Again, if you're in the neighborhood, uh, please um, come and check it out for yourself in person. I'll be here for a little while. I have to go and I got to do some running around, but there'll be other people here as well. Uh, I repeat, uh, we're here at the Homewood Library uh, until about 7.30 or 8 o'clock until closing. So if you're in the neighborhood, please come and check out this really, really informative and awesome ex exhibition. Uh, this is the last date on a Black History Month, but we plan to probably do one more library, probably East, East Liberty, before wrapping it up. All right. Have a blessed day.